Is this a flower shop? I hate magic. Then why use it? You just threatened me to follow you. I don't want to do this anymore. I heard a whistle in my ear. Speak up. What the fuck do I have to do with this? You go to the hospital and I have a double shift. You missed an appointment. So come on, payment is $5,783. You gave up a couple of bodies. Not enough. The school is tight. Lies. You wanted to do the body haul, now you have a say. Cause Melvin is dead. What is this? This is... <laughs> a store. You laid on paper. I hope you come in peace. Zian, you know about the pimp chains. I got a question. I might have answers. Kitty Bella stole the Feyan Bagay, right? Come to the back. The Feyan Bagay belongs to one of the banks, the Bibles. I can't get into one of the gates linked with the hood. Which is that? Gate and go Susanna. If she's going underground that's bad. No shit. It's a whole different store back here. Everything is knockoffs. Kitty stole a knockoff chain? It's a whole Barbie set back here. It's a chain behind the counter. I could pawn it. Are you being nosy? Nah. What the fuck? Dad's fucking dead. My supply is gone. He won't let me back in the house over a fucking chain. Somebody has to die. Today. In each class we have too much time, so let me start the discussion. Oligopolies consist of few people and the ghetto defines the few within. As well as the term caucusocracy is more like the gangsters within. Because oligopoly is a few. It doesn't have much competition. In some cases, an oligopoly can become a monopoly and all my students that gamble should know. A monopoly is about exclusive products. We can get crayons from damn near anywhere but the main seller would be Crayola. It didn't invent the rainbow but they might as well own that too. I don't think Crayola owns the color industry. Don't you sell crack? In the government establishment of Vampires of Shade. Sometimes you get communication and that is called collusion. Collusion is when multiple parties reach an agreement which is not always an oligopoly. We do not have collusion. The hospital makes it own while in competition. The cartel in Mexico is oligopoly. It is, but they don't trade with Virginia heirs. The hospital makes it money through potent propaganda. You have the vampire kings which are at the top of the hierarchy. The hospital is classed as a side bitch to the vampire kings. The hood, the ghetto, knows the hospital and though it is many. We have no ammo. Nobody can take the hospital. The hospital is formerly our Lego studio and with the magic involved. We don't have much say. The hospital and the school are connected, though. How? Every once in a while. The big gangsters make a journey to give blood to the coven. Which has a name and that is Shush. It's cover up. Is the Acrorum Sigvis. The Acrorum Sigvis? Hush rad. The main coven is like Congress and as we know it. Alega is no longer the prophet. So, the kings serve God? Not really. It is a form of government with organized crime. Gods and vampires do not go together. If anything, in the context of oligarchy, a few have been selected and Alega is one of them because of clout. With that stated, Alegla is the main one in control and he can pick others. Again, this is not a democracy, because we as a group of people didn't say Alegla could be. God made us but we didn't make God rather we just talk about him. I'm confused because it sounds like monarchy. We didn't vote for the nigga. Nobody voted when vampires came up. It was just known that Alegla had more sense, therefore he rules and if he wants, he can get other people to work with him. Alega does a better job than anybody in right now. We have no fucking king. 
The main lesson I wanted to make with OPEC is about oil and an oligopoly. As far as I know, it's about 10 countries or more that have control of oil. Oil to vampires is like Templars and the Holy Grail. This is another reason why Alega has so much clout. He has oil, rap, and several businesses. Still sounds like monarchy. We didn't fucking vote. Today, we'll talk about imp anatomy. First let's talk about the effects of magic and the physical. Magic is an unforeseen thing. In fiction it cannot be explained and tossed as a miracle. Meaning, I don't know how but God must have done something. Seeing a rabbit be pulled out a hat when you never saw it anywhere can be explained as the rabbit being trained to sit in the hat, but if the magician shows you the hat is empty, the rabbit is physically there. Frankenstein is a zombie and imps are not. Has anybody heard of cordyceps? The ant fungus. A pheocordyceps unilateralis cannot invade humans, but it does affect a cow's ass. Yes. It is believed that the fungus exists in imps. Imps are people with an infection. Write this down, Nipah virus. Symptoms from this infection, respiratory, fever, headache, inflammation of the brain which can lead to seizures, stroke, and severe stupidity. Imps do not eat much. They are obsessed with food and in some regular cases with a high fever one may be delirious. Other studies show that imps are alive but not living. They have a severe infection and a slow heartbeat of 21 beats per minute. Imps have poor eyesight and it is pure magic that allows any other fucking thing to happen. Zombies are dead. They are fucking dead. Imps move and still have about 69% of body function while a goddamn zombie is fucking dead. A lot of organs inside of an imp that can still use they last damn breath to use magic is bullshit. Imps have a cancerous stomach. It is bloated and uncomfortable. Vampire blood is dead blood with little coagulation. Because of anemia. Imps have noxious breath and bad body odor. With consumption of blood, they have hemichromatosis. Human blood is edible, but by the teaspoon from the black the market. Imps are not dead. Zombies are dead. Magic makes zombies walk but the zombie isn't doing the magic. Some would say that an imp is a ghoul, but the definition of a ghoul is a fucking spirit which fits more with the context of a ghost. Imps are recognized as devils by basic definition. By vampire logic, we don't fucking know. It's still alive with dead body parts. A drunk is a vampire that eats other vampires. Humans that drink vampire blood, because it's healing are fucking stupid. Therefore they become imps, stupid people. Are you talking to me? No.